Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie, and on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, we are giving you guys another holiday Christmas series episode, and we are going to be showing you guys how to make a great appetizer for all of your holiday parties coming up this month. Right, so instead of those little meatballs, we're going to do vegan meatballs. I remember going to lots of holiday parties as a kid and loving the crock pot full of meatballs. And the sauce. And the sauce. However, we're not doing that. We're not doing that this year. This year we're doing vegan meatballs. So if you guys want to see how we make our favorite vegan meatballs, keep watching. So the first thing that you need to do to make the meatballs is to prep your flax egg because obviously we're not going to be putting eggs in these meatballs. Well, it's really simple though. All you have to do to make one egg is one tablespoon of flax or chia seeds to three tablespoons of water. This recipe calls for two eggs, so we're going to use two tablespoons of flax seed to six tablespoons of water. Oh, great math there, Al. Yeah. So I'm just adding in two tablespoons of flax. You can also use chia seeds though. And then six tablespoons of water. After you've added in your six tablespoons of water, you just want to mix it together and then set it aside in the fridge just to cool when we prep the other ingredients. Yeah, for about 10 minutes, I think. Yeah. First thing you want to do is put a half a cup of walnut into the food processor. And then you're going to want to add in a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Okay. So make sure you're using vegan breadcrumbs. Sometimes they can have Parmesan cheese in them, which you don't want. Unless you're making a vegan Parmesan cheese, that's totally okay as well to add in here. But after you've added in your walnuts and your breadcrumbs, we're going to pulse it. Right. Just blend it until the walnuts are of a fine consistency like this. Next, you just want to open up a can of chickpeas and drain them and then just rinse them. After you rinse them, just try to peel off all of the skins from the chickpeas. You don't have to get all of them, but if you can get most of them off, then that's always good. One can of chickpeas is about two cups, so that's exactly what you want to add into our walnut and breadcrumb mixture now. So you just want to blend until you have this type of consistency. Then you want to saute a half a cup of onion and three cloves of garlic. Just saute them for about five minutes on medium low heat. After you've cooked your onions and garlic in oil, sometimes we just do things out of instinct and I'm not sure if everybody knows, but I'm assuming you know to cook it in oil. Anyways, you're going to add it into the blender now. And then we're going to add in our chickpea breadcrumb mixture. So you just want to give this about 10 seconds uh, pulse just to get the onions uh, chopped up a little bit finer. After you have your onion and garlic in the bowl with the chickpea, breadcrumb, and walnuts. walnut mixture, <laughs> you're going to want to add in your flax egg that we made earlier. We'll add in our flax egg, mix it, then we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of parsley, a half a teaspoon of salt, couple grinds of pepper, there we go. Then we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of oregano. Lastly, a quarter teaspoon of basil. Sounds Italian. Very Italian. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna mix that up again. Now you're ready to form the balls. You wanna first line up baking sheet with some parchment paper. And then you're just going to take a little handful of mixture and roll it into a ball and put it on the parchment paper and now you have your little meatball now that we've formed the meatballs we're going to put them in the oven at 450 for 20 to 25 minutes and we're going to turn them over halfway through the baking process we just made up our own vegan barbecue sauce based off of our Oh She Goes cookbook. But there are a ton of vegan barbecue sauces out there, so you could just make your own at home. It's pretty simple. Way better than buying the store-bought barbecue sauce that has a bunch of crap in it. Or if you do buy one, make sure it only has a couple ingredients. We just added in our barbecue sauce to our saucepan. Now I'm just going to add in one tablespoon of vegan butter to it. Turn the saucepan heat on to medium. 
and just melt it together. And after our meatballs come out of the oven in about a minute, we're going to add the meatballs into the pot just to coat them in the sauce. Alrighty guys, so that is how we make our vegan appetizer meatballs. The most important part is really the sauce and the spices in these because that's what's going to give it the meatball flavor. Uh, but they form really well, they bake really well. They look like meatballs. Yes, they do. And we are starving, so we're going to dig in. Cheers. Alright. Those are good. I think the sauce really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. like, I wouldn't say these have the meatiest texture, but they have the flavor of meatballs. And they're perfect for appetizing meatballs to snack on. Mm. Well, the other thing too, super healthy. Yes. And with meatballs, you're, you're getting into grease and processed yeah. food. This is chickpeas, walnuts, mm -hmm. all healthy ingredients. So And really tasty. And, lots and of really flavor. tasty. So I think your guests will not be disappointed when you serve these. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.